silent children today we are going to discuss about max assessment so this is regarding first term assessment and in that we have unit test which is already done it was of 20 marks practical which is done done means the practical was given to you in the month of june it was on squares and cubes remember so that practical you are going to submit time for submission has come then we are having chart making activity mental max and semester so this is regarding our first term marks that is assessment now what you have to do you have to make chart so this activity is chart making and it is on chapter 15 area we have done the chapter 15 area right yes so in that what we have studied we have studied different figures we have studied palogram then rhombus triangle in triangle also we have studied three types the base and height is given right angle triangle is given a triangle when all three sides are given trapezium circle now in that what you are going to do you are going to make the cutouts that is cut out of another chart paper cardboard or the simple paper plain paper and color it if it is colored okay otherwise color it you have to make a chart colorful and attractive right and you are more creative so with your different ideas you have to come out with your different ideas and do it we have to find perimeter in that and area for example parallelogram now what is perimeter perimeter is sum of all the sides right and area of parallelogram base into height similarly rhombus rhombus perimeter is same sum of all sides but all sides of rhombus are equal congruent so what you have to do you have to multiply length of side with 4 4 into side and formula of area half into product of diagonals right similarly triangle sum of all sides then here you have to complete this table then circle when we say circle perimeter of circle is nothing but its circumference and area area you know pi r square we have done all that right okay now here an example i have given you it is for example parallelogram you are going to stick the cutout and you have to write the measures for example the sides of the parallelogram have been given adjacent sides have been given one side is 15 another adjacent side is 9 and you know that opposite sides of parallelogram are congruent so this side is 15 opposite side is also 15 right and if this side is 9 then opposite side is also 9 right children and the height is given to you which is 8 centimeter so 15 9 8 this is 15 this is 9 and the height this 8 is nothing but children height right yes now you have to write the measures of whatever the figures you are drawing and you are going to calculate also for example perimeter of parallelogram what is the perimeter sum of all sides and adjacent sides are equal so you can write on your way i have taken 9 plus 9 15 plus 15 or according you take 9 plus 15 plus 9 plus 15 add it write the answer area of a parallelogram it is base into height so base is 8 the base was given to you it is 8 multiply by height that is this is the base children taken so this is the height so according to that you have to write the answer calculate and write
and now the very important thing date of submission the date of submission is sunday it is 16th august 2020 before 8 pm it is pm children evening time so you are getting that day also okay so these thing you have to keep in mind day sunday date 16th august before 8 pm now what are the instructions to be followed you have to write your full name class division sid number correctly then you scan your chart convert into pdf file and send in the respective class group in whichever class group you are there send in that and now very important thing remember if you don't submit it before 8 pm on 16th august then your chart will not be assessed and marks will not be given so submit it on the date and time given so you are having time children do it on time now this is regarding the practical this max practical that is on squares and cubes it was given to you in the month of june is to be submitted that is on or before friday 21st august so in case if you have not done anything practical you are still having time do it on or before friday 21st august you have to submit it okay so what you are going to do is scan your practical or take a photo convert into pdf file and send in the respective class group you have to write your name class division sid number on the chart also and on this practical also so whatever way you have made you have made in the form of circle and whatever it is accordingly you have to take scan it or take a photo and see to it you are writing name standard division everything and send in the respective group again children you have to remember that you have to submit it on the date and the day given if you will not submit on that day it will not be assessed not checked marks will not be given so submit it on time and this is regarding mental max and you all you know mental max in the class it is been taken it was taken right so how the mental max is taken you know the questions are read you have to write the answers no cutting nothing everything you are aware of the mental max so this mental max is also one of the submitted that is assessment which will be taken but detailed instructions will be given to you later on when and date whatever time whatever it is all the detailed instructions will be let you know later on so this is regarding our max assessment formative and summative so once again i am reminding you children your chart making so make your chart very attractive colorful come out with your own creative ideas and submit it on time submit max practical also on 21st august on time otherwise the projects and practical and all will not be assessed marks will not be given thank you children take care of yourself